السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. In this video, we're going to see how to review updated XCR. We have here one XCR 30 November and another one 28 December. So this one is monthly update. I did adjustment to December 1 just for this exercise. Now let's open the Excel. For this exercise, we're going to use PlanX tool, the schedule comparison. If you want to download PlanX tool, I will leave it in the comment or the description. Also, schedule comparison, one of the pro tools that require license. You can uh, try the trial one or you can uh, purchase the pro license. So let's start. You will open here any Excel file from PlanX schedule comparison and then select the original XCR. I will select 30 November and the second one is December 1 and then where I want to save the file so I will keep it in the same file. Okay, this gives us a, a, a brief of what, what we expect or what is the comparison we expect from this uh, tool. Then save and compare. It could take few seconds now reading the XCR, reading the update, doing the comparison, and it took only three seconds. Here is the project, this is a summary. So, project start, project finish. We have here a shift around 33 days. This is a cutoff date. Okay, this number of activities, and we have here additional one activity. We're going to check which one. The budget duration, okay, it's a rim. The total duration, of course, increase now. Budget cost, there is increase also. You can see it here. We can now, we can next understand from where. Actual cost, of course, we have to expect uh, increasing in this one. Remaining cost, total cost. Let's start with the relationship change. We notice here relationship change. This one will capture any changes in relationship. As you can see, the first one, the relationship change from finish to start to finish to finish. And the comment here changed. The activity status not started and this one in progress. So probably is this one out of sequence. So if I, if you are a contractor, you, you can add one more column and out of sequence and you can explain why this out of sequence the second one this active this relationship has been removed actually and also you can adjust or justify why this has been removed this relationship here it seems like it's new one between activity and another and if we don't have here status that means it's a new activity so probably this is a new activity has been added and there is a relationship between a completed activity also we need to understand why this is changed so this is a, fa a very fast way to check the changes in relationship next is the actual unit this comparing the unit even labor or non labor if we select this row and uh, from our keyboard control shift l you can see filter okay we notice here some values in red that mean the the variance not in positive is negative and this is not supposed to be like this so if i filter here number or by color you will get this three item again you can add here comment and justifying maybe this is a wrong progress earlier or justify why there is issue here if you want to know the overall progress this month you can select this column and the total here the submission the submission is the total progress this month or this period next is total unit we will notice here there is increase in the total unit also this is not correct why we could have increase in the uh, in the budget unit so we maybe we need to justify this one budget cost again budget cost supposed to be zero however there is value here increased and there is another value decreased 
and the summation not the zero that mean okay maybe I understand you reallocate some budget between two activities and this need justification however even this one like uh, decreasing in the total budget this one zero maybe it's very minor or uh, in decimal that we cannot see next actual cost so maybe in this version we didn't highlight the the variant the negative values but in the next update we can add again if we select this row and control shift l let's see here this is the negative values maybe we need to justify or ask the contractor why there is a bad negative variance also we can check here the big values like this one also if there is a big jump we can check why this item has a big jump especially if we have activities okay this one is completed then we will not for myself if it completed then it's okay next is the earned value and from here if we select this total 255 and the earned value here is not 285 that means there is issue in uh, making the actual cost equal the earned value and you can notice this one here most of the item is completed and the in progress has a minus that means some adjustment happened here seem like the contractor is uh, not taking care of equaling the actual uh, cost by the earned cost remaining cost of course it will be decreased except in some cases we don't know why we can justify why this one increase because if you progressing the remaining has to be decreased correct total float you can notice here also total float if we filter completed then we understand of course it all has to be zero but let's try here non uh, in progress or not start the total float here decreased by or the total float increased by more than 30 days so within a 30 days update period the total float we can understand it it's supposed to be within the 30 days However, what, however, anything over this 30 days, maybe there is a change in remaining duration and that's what we're going to see. But we can highlight this one by here filter less than 30 days, in this case minus 30. All of this activity need to be checked. Maybe one activity here delay and drive the other ones. Let's check now the critical. So the the completed activities, of course, it will not be critical anymore. It was critical in the original file with uh, lag uh, was with with float uh, negative float actually one hundred seventy one. However, once it completed, it became non critical. Person complete. This one here. Also, we can filter if we have something in negative like this one. Also, we need to justify with a quick search about the, the value of negative progress. We can find here in earned value. It's also appeared here negative 20 uh, negative 1000 and okay back to the person complete. So by checking this one, we can know where what is the issue also you can use this file for uh, a quick review with your team so giving them these activities and please confirm okay this activity has 70 percent progress or completed and if in progress like this did the contractor progress 65 percent within this month this could be used for the verification actual finish date we have here some again control L shift what we can get from here first there is two activity had actual earlier however this actual change we need to justify why the actual here it changed from 21 November to 25 November and this from 26 November uh, to 1st of November 
the rest seem okay and nothing is more than the cutoff date so we can understand it actually start again we have similar comment we have activities that had actual earlier force of uh, January uh, sorry June however it became 10th of June and this 3rd of August became 30 August we need justification why actual start change it here the rest seem okay this is the this is the early finish comparison and of course we can have a lot of changes however with a quick change the variance not supposed to be more than 30 days so this here we need to understand why it been shifted to more than 30 days within a 30 days update same case in the start this is the original duration also we need to justify why for non started activity the remain or the original duration has been changed from 10 days to 30 days and this could be in the comment here remaining duration let's do a fast check here all within the 30 days let's check now the not started okay for a quick check the completed activity of course the remain duration will be zero so it's okay for in progress activities we can see okay within the 30 days variance which is okay or also but for non started activities like this one again this talk to the same original duration so we have the same issue maybe this variance need to be adjusted okay next status change all of this activity converted from in progress or not started to completed or in progress which is okay activities is, is a new one and if we check this one here and back to the relationship this is a fuel tank this is a new activity that doesn't have relationship or doesn't have original status this was a very quick review to an update to go through it you can of course dig deep more in the details you as a contractor you can use this tool to uh, make your change look also you as a consultant or supervision or BMC or even not only this but also you can use it for the claim if you want to uh, make sure the file is what is the difference or what is the changes between the uh, the submitted file and the actual record submitted within the weekly or within the updates if you have any comment or idea to add it to this tool please keep it in the comment thank you